Hey YouTubers, TJ here. Well, this is my hydraulic tubing better bender that I converted a few years ago. I took a JD squared manual bender, converted a hydraulic, used a big ram, used a log splitter uh, manifold to control the forward and aft motions of the, of the hydraulic ram. Uh, I have a northern tank, brand new, which actually leaks. So I need to take that all apart. But this is just a repower of my tubing bender to drive that pump. That motor you see right there, I just got on Craigslist, 50 bucks. It's a brand new GE motor. It's a two horsepower, single phase, 220. What was happening is I had another motor, a smaller one, a three quarter horsepower in the same spot. And when I would put a load on this pump, it would stall out. It was not enough power. And then what I did is I, I took the same motor and I hung it from under here and then drove it with a chain, uh, a two to one ratio. Um, I, don't, I don't know, it's a sprocket setup I got on uh, surpluscenter.com. And if you look in my other videos where I uh, took a Honda CX500 and converted to monoshock, you'll see how loud it is when I bent the swing arm uh, pieces of material. It's just really loud. Unsafe, I did have a cage guarding the chain, but it was just crazy, crazy loud and really annoying. So um, what I want to eventually do is, after I get this all mounted and wired up, I still have to get the other side of the coupler here. You get those at um, surpluscenter.com. They're cheap, like 20 bucks. So I have about 70 bucks into this. I need to get a contactor. Uh, the draw draws about 11 amps. So I need to get a contactor and wire it up. So probably all in all, I'll probably have about 70 or 80 bucks into this project. Uh, I do what eventually want to put at the on this side of the bender is a ring roller. Um, I don't want to get the ring roller from Harbor Freight. Um, I do want to get the ring rollers from Princess Auto in Canada. Um, Princess Auto ring rollers in Canada have two drives um, that drive everything and they don't slip. It looks like a better unit, but the problem is shipping and everything from Canada to the U.S. Uh, but I, what I want to eventually do is make a bracket, put it up here, and get a hydraulic motor and the hydraulic motor hooked to one side of that sprocket assembly and you could drive the motor forward or backward controlling it with with like a log splitter valve I have here so um, what I do want to give a shout out to his name is Paul Short he is from Canada he has a great site a great YouTube uh, site big following where he did actually convert one of those tubing rollers with a hydraulic winch setup, made a real nice setup, painted it really nice, TIG welded a lot of aluminum stuff, looks very professional. Um, but I do want to give a shout out to him because he gave me the good idea to put it at the, to put that ring roller at the end of, end of this tubing bender assembly. My tubing bender is quite large. Um, it suffices what I have. It rolls around in the shop pretty easily. Um, what I need to do is again, take the tank off, drain it all out, find the leak, TIG up the weld, the pinhole leak in these, these MIG welds that Northern does. I don't even know where it's made. And eventually clean all this stuff up, paint it nice, and get it really running top notch. But again, that's after I do this other project, probably in the summertime, to where I put a, a ring roller at the end. And I also want to give a shout out to Tom Zellickman, who I've been following a lot of his videos. He's getting into a lot of CNC stuff, really cool. Uh, stuff he has. He has a CNC plasma cutter. I'm in the process of still building mine. Um, but I want to give a shout to him because he always instills in us to, you know, this is a no dollar, a low dollar, low budget project. So again, I've, he've always advocated, you know, again, this, I have no money to, to fix this, but I have a lot of material laying around and I have some skill. Um, you know, not no money laying around, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on these projects. You want to be as efficient as possible. That's why I found this brand new motor on, on Craigslist for 50 bucks, and it looks like it's been never been used. 
So anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You can also visit my um, website. It's called tjsperformance.com. And please visit those other two people's uh, YouTube sites, Tom Zellickman and Paul Short. Uh, if, you have, if you haven't commented, please comment. And um, thanks for watching, everybody.